Alright everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Mega Man 3. Last week we took on Hard Man and fisted him into submission. Just showed him that a hard fisting is, is never good for anybody. And uh, this this week I thought we'd take on Top Man and just uh, just use our newly acquired fist of righteousness to just beat the living crap out of him. So I thought that'd be a pretty enjoyable experience for everybody. But first, uh, I will go ahead and answer the comment question from last week, which was, what is your favorite Mega Man game? Uh, we got an answer in the comments there of uh, Mega Man 4, I believe, which is a, a great answer. It brought up a lot of points that I actually hadn't thought of before. But I'm going to have to still go with, I mean, and it's not shocking. I don't, I don't mean to dazzle or shock anybody, but it's Mega Man 2 is my favorite in the series. I just, I love it. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun, and I like this one for a lot of things because I feel like it added a lot to the series, you know, but Mega Man 2 really was just a huge step up from Mega Man 1. Not that Mega Man 1 is a bad game, I love Mega Man 1, and we will get to playing that, trust me. But Mega Man 2 was just, you had the different, um, I mean they were just numbered, like, helper weapons, I don't really remember what they were called, but just the fact that you had those different, like, the, the thing that crawled up the wall and the thing that hovered, it just added such a dynamic to the gameplay. And I know that there was the platform thing from Mega Man 1, but totally different experience on Mega Man 2. And I'll let you in on a little secret. I just said a bunch of bullshit. The reason I love Mega Man 2 is that you shoot a dragon in the face. And that's just pretty much the most awesome thing ever. But anyway, I figured we'd just uh, jump right in thanks to... Uh, Thank you for answering the comment question, and thanks for watching the video last time, and uh, hopefully you, you keep enjoying it. So, let's go ahead and tackle Top Man to the ground right here. That's a huge space in between Top and Man. Alright, so let's just get started here. Uh, jump to shoot, jump to shoot. Oh, God, Jesus. Already, already I'm sad. Jeez, oh my God. Alright, here we go. Man, I forgot. For some reason, this game is just way more laggy than uh, the other games. I'm, I, I've got several Let's Plays going right now, and for some reason, this one is the... Are you serious? <laughs> Look at him. For some reason, this one is just the worst off. I, I don't know uh, what's wrong with that. I mean, if anybody knows how I can... I mean, I'm usually... I'm, I'm uh, playing this on my Mac. Uh, I'm using Camtasia to record it. And if anybody just knows any way to reduce the lag or anything, just uh, hit me up in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. So, God, I love sliding. Oh, man, it's so awesome. But, uh, I don't know. This is, uh, this is a pretty straightforward level. There's nothing too crazy about it. That extra life is completely worth it, by the way. And uh, there's also a... Uh, so you can just take that hit for days because you've got this over here too. And just look at the sprites are just all over the place. And I, I really apologize for this. I don't know. But I've done several other Let's Plays and I have not had this problem. Maybe it's the... I don't know. Maybe there's just a quality problem that's not really in the recording because... Like I said... Oh, baloney! Hitbox was gigantic. But whatever. I mean, that's not really important. Now this state, this stage is the one that just doesn't make any doesn't make any sense to me. And like this is really when it when it hits home for me is the fact that you're fighting a freaking giant cat out of nowhere. And like I mean the whole stage just doesn't make sense. I mean like what top first of all when Dr. Wily was going through making the Robot Masters, I understand what the inspiration behind Top Man could possibly have been. Like, when he made these ones, in the third game, he made them specifically to destroy Mega Man, you know? So, in what universe was he looking at a top, and he was just like, Oh man, you know what would totally crush that Dr. Light henchman, you know? You know what would totally kill Mega Man? A freaking top. Like, this thing is just so mad note. There's no way that Mega Man could possibly... Turn around. There's no way that Mega Man could possibly fight this thing. Oh man, I didn't realize how low I was on life. Jeez. There we go. Plus, the stage is just so strange. Like, what is with this? It's freaking greenery. It's like a greenhouse, which I don't understand what that has to do with tops. 
this is like the only like enemy in the in the level that makes sense because he like crafts out tops or whatever but I don't really understand I just I don't know I don't get it but I've, I think I've said it before and I'll <clears throat> I will say it again there's uh when you start trying to make sense out of Mega Man games you've missed the point got an energy tank that we're not gonna need I, I do have three lives though so we're gonna just gonna go ahead and bite it on this one and face him with full life, you know, because I don't want to waste the, uh, I mean, we could, oh, shoot. We could probably toast him just doing this, but, see, he, the thing is, is that I never know, because his, he's got, like, juke moves, like, do you see that? Like, I don't know, I just jumped too soon or I jumped too late. Like, the suspense just kills me because he spins around for what feels like forever but i mean let's stop screwing around i mean i'm almost positive i didn't bother looking because i don't know i kind of want yeah yeah that's gonna crush the crap out of him so you can slide under those and you want to jump over him right here on this part and look oh my god he just takes hits like a little bitch boom oh my god and the other thing about Top Man that just drove me crazy is that, like, when I was little, the the biggest thing, the most exciting thing about playing Mega Man games was when you got, like, this moment right here. Like, even look at it. Look at the little picture. It's a little top. And in the fight, and then look how boss the transformation is. Like, I mean, there's, like, animation to it. You're freaking changing color. It's called Top Spin. You're like, oh, man, what could this possibly be? It sounds so awesome. But then you get into the actual game and you're like I don't even know what stage I played next I mean I beat top man and then I jumped right into the next one and I was so excited I was so psyched because the biggest thing about this game was you would get the power and then you would immediately go to the next stage and I don't really care who you are I feel like we all did this you would get go to the power and you would just use it like there'd be no enemies it would be the ready screen there'd be no enemies in sight and you just use that power and you'd just be so excited and I remember I, I went into top man I hit that power button, you know, I, I hit that attack button, and nothing happened. And I'm just like, what the hell is... I looked at my brother, I was like, what the hell is... What What is this? What is going on here? And then I started walking a little bit, and then accidentally, I jumped and hit the button at the same time. And the most disappointing thing that has ever happened to me whilst playing a video game took place in that moment. I think a little bit of my childhood innocence was lost when I saw Mega Man do that little twirl. But, uh, because you see in the fight, Top Man shoots out those three, like, homing tops, and you're like, that would be boss if I shot out a homing top. And what would even be better than the spin is if you just did the little shooting out that the, the enemies do in the level. Like, the guy who craps out the tops. Like, that would even be better than this spin. But like I said, that spin is gonna wreck Shadow Man. So I'm pretty sure that next week, we're gonna crush Shadow Man like a little biatch with our magical spinning ballerina kick. So we're gonna ballerina Shadow Man and then I'm pretty sure Snake Man is Mega Buster fodder. So I don't remember anybody else, but Magna Man takes down somebody. I kind of painted myself into a corner there. I don't remember, but whatever. Can I just take one second though, one aside? What is with Sparkman's picture? Like, what what the hell even is that a picture of? It looks like a cross between Fireman from the first game and Woodman, like, had a really, really slow, like, quadruple, like, seven chromosome baby. Like, it's just, like, extra chromosomes all over that thing. Like, look at that thing. What even, like, whatever. It looks nothing like, I mean, look at the picture. Looks nothing like him. And then even the, the sprite doesn't look anything like that. But whatever. I mean, I digress. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And oh, I got a comment question for you again. What was your most disappointing Mega Man power? I mean, I know Top Man would be up there. But in case you guys forgot, Mega Man kicked a ball in one of the games. So yeah, there was that. So go ahead and hit up the comments and leave that behind. That little... Uh, idea of which one you hated the most and next week we'll take on Shadow Man. Thanks for watching guys really appreciate it. See you next time.